Capture. Four. Cut. If I could tell you how to maintain momentum during the middle of a Kickstarter campaign, I would be like a professional Kickstarter zillionaire. Um, I think it's probably the hardest thing to do in a Kickstarter campaign is to keep the money coming in during that plateau. And it's also the most emotionally frustrating part of the process because you're pretty sure you're doomed to failure at that point when certainly you're not. There are two spikes at the beginning and the end. The beginning, which is like it's new and it's you know, it's exciting and whatever, um, and you get like pub publicized or whatever. And then at the end, which is like, it's about to go away, hop on board uh, before it goes away. And I think that middle area uh, dragged for us and it drags for a lot of people. That's the phase which is probably most important to be updating the posting updates on the project, um, maybe sharing additional information. I think um, some of the really successful Kickstarter campaigns I've seen are ones where um, some really interesting tidbits about the making of the film or the goals of the film um, aren't necessarily in the main body of the campaign on the Kickstarter project, but are kind of released slowly in the updates. Um, and that might be behind the scenes photography or, um, you know, fun or interesting videos that were either, again, made behind the scenes in the making of the film or, um, you know, or maybe might be direct appeals or personal updates from the filmmaker or the subjects of the film. So you want to make sure that some of your high profile bloggers or subjects are, are pushing your film during that slow period. And you want to space them out in such a way that you're, you don't lose momentum for the campaign.